Hallo. One, two. Sorry for the delay, uh, internet. Seems like it doesn't want to work today. Okay, let's wait just for a few and uh, we go. A little bit live. Pilates, Saturday morning. But not any more morning. Mira. Okay, guys, let's do this. Welcome to Pilates. Let's do some uh, a little bit more dynamic for the core. Just gonna need a mat. You're just gonna need some water, maybe whatever it fits better. So let's start. Lay down your back on the mat. Let's just lay down our spine and open our lower backs first. So knees over your hips, from your knees first to one side. Let's just chill for a little bit. So let's switch, let's open our other side of the lower back. I'm not fitting anymore. Am I getting bigger? Maybe. Too much food. Let's do it one more time for each side. Switch, switch. One switch. Sorry, the watch it's saying it's time to move. So what do you say? It's time to move, right? All right, let's focus on that core first. Take both of your knees on the ground and uh, over your hips. Sorry, let's take both of the toes to the ground. So left your heels off, squeeze those abs super tight. So with the abs start to push inside, so feel the lower back goes against the ground super tight. And let's go for our first move. Lift both of your knees over your hips and let's go for a light. Touch with your toes on the ground and lift again. So our first part, let's focus a lot of our core. Feel how you squeeze those abs inside. Feel how your core is super tight. Let's go for the last 30 seconds and let's bring a little bit more of a challenge. Try to push a little bit far away. So try to, with your toes, with both of your toes, both of your feet, try to touch far away on the ground. start to feel how those abs they start to work they warm up feel also your hip flexors and let's go for a little bit tougher rich with your uh, chin next to your chest arms always relax let's go for some scissors don't forget to breathe in and breathe out always 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 Whenever you feel that the neck is starting to overload, please take your head to the ground. But if you want a little bit tougher on that workout, just lift off the ground, squeeze those abs inside, shoulders relaxed, 
And if you can, try to go a little bit faster. So start to feel how you pull from those knees to you. Let's go for just a couple of seconds more. We're going live in five, four, three, two. Nice, release it out. Heels on your mat. Start to push those hips. Let's go for our first hip bridge. The highest you can push. Keep that core always tight. So push from your lower back, the highest. And then we go down with that core. What do you say? Should we do two? only two more? Let's try it. Heels always on the ground. Push the highest. Down we go. Let's go for the last one. Use those heels to push. Don't check on those arms. They will be always relaxed on the ground. Down we go. Now let's go for our first sequence. Let's use the last exercise. That means lift your shoulder blades off. Pull both of your knees over your hips. And let's go for only 10 of those switch. 10 in total, that means five and five. Once you have those five and five, you sit down, heels on the ground the closest you can. Start to build the highest hip bridge ever with a lot of strength of your arms, hand with hand, and push your chest out. Use those arms to push away the ground and your shoulder blades. Hold it for five, four, three, two. Arms away, and then down we go with the core. Let's start again. Reset. Shoulder blades, they go off the ground. Squeeze that core super tight, shoulders away. Let's go for only 10 times. We switch those legs. A light touch with your toes on the ground. Once we have those 10, remember, drop it down, heels on the ground, the highest. Hip bridge with your hips the highest. Use those shoulder blades to push your chest out and push the ground away. Only for five seconds, four, three, two, arms away, down we go, let's go for only two more times that sequence. So what you need here to always keep it in mind, squeeze those abs super, super, super tight. Don't forget to activate between the shoulder blades. Once you have those 10, just simply release it. Down we go. Heels on the ground to lift and use the shoulder blades. Last one, let's go for those 10 times we switch. Once you have those 10, release it over. Last one, heels, shoulder blades. The ground those arms and down we go top let's go for our first stretch exercise so please bend one um, keep one of your legs on the ground the other one goes to the ground let's work I don't know if you can see it maybe not on your foot that's a flex that's a point that's a flex that's a point let's go for the flex start to pull that leg the highest point and then down we go now pay extra attention to that core and your hips. They will be always, always, always against the ground. So with your abs, push inside and keep your lower back against the ground. Arms relax. Don't forget to breathe. And if you want a quick advice and a quick tip and a helpful tip, try this. When the leg goes up, try to breathe in. Point, when the leg goes down, breathe it out. So feel the strength when you pull. Feel the stretch when you pull. And down we go. Let's go for only three more on that one side. Last one come in. Top. Let's switch other side. Leg extend. Heel goes up, point, down we go. 
Then on this one, when the hands reach, they start to release the common error. It's to always bend your leg. So the moment you bend your leg, there is no effect. So try to always, always go for the full, full extension. And another common error, it's in your hips. When you start to pull, they start to lift a little bit. Try not to squeeze them against the ground. Down we go. Feel that really nice, nice strength in the front of your hips and really nice on the back of your legs. A little good stretch. Fairly. Following the S1, top. Now extend both of your legs on the ground, extend both of your arms over your head, and let's go for a nice roll up. Squeeze those abs, roll it off the ground. Use the core to lift, use behind your shoulder blades, and a little bit lower to pull up your chest. So sit down as straight as you can, and then down we go with a lot of control. So let's come again, squeeze those abs, activate that core, it's always pushing inside. Let's go higher. Lift, 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 try to always maintain your shoulders away from your ears. Down we go. Let's go for only three more here. Use that core to roll. Try to pump it up your chest, sit down straight. Down we go. Last two to go. Throw it back against the ground. Lift. Down we go. So team, what do you see? One more. The last one come in. So, what do you say? Should we go a little bit tougher? Now our goal will be to really squeeze those abs and try to go the, the, as forward, forward, forward as you can, shall we? So let's try it, let's go for the roll, let's go for a lot of stretch, forward, 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 forward. And then here comes the good part, start to roll it back. When you feel your lower back, it's on the ground, try to stop. We're not gonna go completely down, we're gonna pull it off the ground. And again, as far as you can. Your main target now is gonna be your hamstrings. Your lower back a little bit. Away we go. Stop with your lower back against the ground. Round number three, forward we go. Keep a lot of tension on that core. Release it all up. Should we go for two more? Okay, the last one, guys. Here it comes. Top, release it over. Down we go. Arms over your head. Nice. Bend your legs. Try to relax a little bit. Try to move your lower back a little bit. So what do you say? Should we hit our roll ups and the roll back? Extend both. And here we come. Big roll. Forward we go. Stretch those hamstrings. Release it over. Hands to the ground if you want, or elbows on the ground. Let's roll it backwards. Try to lift your hips off the ground and make yourself a tiny, tiny, tiny little ball. Option, if you want an option, arms on the ground. Simply release it, roll again forward. <coughs> and then down to the ground. We go with a lot of control from the abs. Let's do that again. So basically, here comes how we go, our sequence. Big roll, push as far as you can. Backwards we go, we roll it, 
aim for your spine, aim for your whole, whole lower back. Release it up. Forward we go. Release we go. Should we do three more on this one? Shall we? There we go. So basically always aim with the core, aim for those hamstrings, stretch them, release your whole spine under pressure, roll it backwards. Back through those hamstrings. Back to the ground. Two to go. Take a deep breath in, breathe out when you come forward. Take a deep breath in, breathe out when you stretch. Breathe in, breathe it out when you roll. Try to hold it here. Stretch, let's turn around, let's work against the ground. Let's place the hands closer to your shoulders. Let's start easy on the first knees on the ground. Let's push the ground away twice. Let's just simply push your hips backwards, bring your chest closer to the ground. Roll high. Forward, down, again, twice we push, once, twice, stretch, bound, down, let's go for two more, again, twice we push, backwards, Chest the closest you can to the ground. To the ground. Down we go. Let's go for our last. And top guys, what do you say? Should we go? No knees. Push once, stretch, Oopa. a little bit slippery here, forward we go, down, 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 down we go, let's do it again, let's see if my method with the towel works, push once, stretch as much as you can, now it, it is not working, brown your spine when you come forward, down we go. Let's go for three more. This is what we call live issues. Forward we go, round your spine. Down we go, two to go. Not trick yet. Push with 
your core. Elbows closer to the ribs. The lats stick in, no pain. Found it. Now watch, stay here, don't go down. Just simply drop your knees underneath your hips. Take one of your shoulders to the ground. Rotate as much as you can. Try to relax a little bit. Let's switch on the other side. Feel how you open your um, shoulder blades. Maybe your lower back is also there, working out. Each one of your sides, rotate first. Last one, switch, switch. Precious lower back. Lay down your spine just like we have started this morning. Let's go a little bit deeper. Knees over your hips, knees to one side, extend your leg and try to push it down. If you can, shoulder blades against the ground, open up your chest. Try to relax here, try to breathe things out. Switch on the other side, please. Let's go for one more, each one of your sides. Rotate, extend your leg. I hope you're fitting at your home. I don't fit on this side. I have the furniture. Alright, last one. Let's switch. Can I turn the thing? So I can fit. space, right? Challenging. Drop, release it. Let's go for our lower back a little bit. Wrap around both of your knees. Try to pull them. Feel your chest a little bit and just move small circles side to side, right to left, left to right if you want. Try to relax those shoulders, they will be a wave, they must be a wave of your ears. Let's release it and touch the ground. Let's go for one more, lift, lift, wrap around. And release it, extend both of your legs on the ground. Try to relax for a little bit and stay here for the last minute. Relax your arms, relax your head. Breathe in and breathe out.
space in there a bit. Let's pull our arms. Move your lower back. Whenever you can, roll it up. Okay, guys, thank you for joining. Have an amazing weekend. Try to stay inside as much as you can. Please stay in, stay safe, stay inside. Wash your hands. Doei allemaal, tot volgende keer. Bye.